We are reaching the end of January, and apparently it is such a slow news week that uh, we are talking about M&Ms again, just like we did last year. So let's find out what's new with a candy. So last year we covered the introduction of the purple m and I pointed out that it was stupid to introduce her without an actual purple m and Apparently this year they're going to be introducing the purple m ms but now they're not because Fox News made fun of the m ms So they've decided to pull back the m ms and they've decided to replace them for now with this comedian, Maya Rudolph. And... They said that they're retired indefinitely, which means at any point they could come back or they could be gone forever. And a lot of people are upset about this. I was upset about this um, for a minute. That's, that's about all the time you should dedicate to being upset about this. But then I started thinking about it a bit longer. Who is Maya Rudolph? Maya Rudolph is a random comedian. Okay, so is this a serious play? If this was a serious thing, they would be virtue signaling. But instead, they're calling her the, like, head of fun at their company. And they're putting her face literally on the M&Ms. And the profile picture to the Twitter is her face on an M&M. I think that this is a publicity stunt. I think that the M&Ms knew how much they were getting attention for the Fox News coverage. They knew people just kept talking about them over and over again. They want that success again. They want that publicity. So they're doing this to get people to complain about them, to get people to mention them, to get people actually bringing up the Eminem brand. This is a marketing stunt, pure and simple. If this was real wokeness or real SJW stuff, it'd be obnoxious. It would be annoying. We've seen this playbook for years. It's a science, a fine science. This isn't enough. And it's not being played genuinely. That, that's my own thoughts. So what, what do you think about this whole Eminem debacle with uh, fucking Maya Rudolph? I agree with you. I think it probably is them just trolling people. Because the way it is, the way they're advertising it, it kind of feels like one of those old 2000s ads where they were really wacky. But it's also like we're well past that. And it seems really weird that they would just be like, yep, okay, well, we got a lot of backlash for this one thing we did with the M&Ms. Let's just completely throw them out and introduce this Maya woman, and she's our new head spokeswoman. And uh, she's our chief of fun, and she's now on the M&Ms. Like, I think it's them messing around. I don't think they're serious with this. You had me. You had me until you put her face on the M&M. When you put her <laughs> face on the M&M, you got me squinting. And I'm like, wait a minute, this can't be legit. And I don't think it is. I think anybody who's going to complain about this, anybody who is going to uh, actually get mad about this, congrats, you fell for it. I'm sure that uh, the quartering or somebody will actually be upset about this, just like they were upset about Go Go Boots and uh, Eminem's holding hands. Because uh, that's what our world has come to nowadays, where... We're actually seriously talking about the fucking M&Ms. So yeah, um, I'll say I told you so when they come back by the end of the year and when all this is just turns out to be a giant marketing ploy. 